Hello, this is Stephanie, and again, you've made your way to my channel, Saving with Stephanie J. Now, I guess I got brave enough after posting that video last night um, about doing the weight loss challenge and everything like that. I thought, let's do something even more fun. Let's show you the scary. Ah! I know. But I thought you might want to put makeup on with me. Be fun. Okay, let's start out with this, because I'm on my way to work. I start out with my win, and it is a replenishing treatment mist. I just kind of use that. You know, uh, let's give it a little bit, you know, because yesterday I did put on some product and ugh, I don't like that. I don't like product in my hair. And this is kind of a detangler kind of thing. And so I really like to put that on my ends. Even like I say in North Georgia, we are humidity queens here. Um, uh, everything on me is dry. Now look at this. Look what a cute headbandy do doggy I got. <laughs> now, if this don't scream, Stephanie, you're a dumb butt. I don't know what does, okay? All right, let's throw on some makeup. What you say? First off, let me kind of organize my chaos here and set things up. First, now I'm all about primers and preps and sometimes I'll have two or three primers on. Yeah, I'll just say it. You know, sometimes I do. Okay, I am going to start off first with the Mary Kay Volume Lifting Serum. And I give it about... You know, something like that. Get it all, you know, you know, just throw it everywhere. Okay? Ah, one. Then I'll put on the Mary Kay Pore Minimizer. Cool. And on that, now I use like two pumps. If y'all want to know who I get my Mary Kay from, hit me up. I'll be glad to give you sweet girl's name. Okay, and I just, I mean, I lather it on. Don't want any more wrinkles, and don't never forget your neck. Never, ever forget your neck. Because you could have plastic surgery on this. This, there ain't no helping on you there. Now, I'm going to use Mary Kay. It is the day cream. Oop. And this, I like this. Look, he's squirted. Look. Okay, that's fine. I guess it's supposed to keep it fresh. Oh. And on this one, I don't go around my eyes because it is a little bit thicker. And, you know, I'll work a 12-hour third shift. And so I don't want that much um, um, moisture around my eyes or my eyes. You know, my makeup starts to do some weird stuff like come down here. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's all the moisture-y stuff. Next, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime. Now, it's got the little thing I was telling you about the other day. You turn it right like that to open, that to close. So, I can, I, this is liquidy, and so I put it here in my palm, not here. And I know some people will put this on with Beauty Blender. And on this, I just kind of pat. Reason is, it's a little bit stiff stickier kind of thing. And what you just do is just, just kind of getting all the cracks and poor little crevices of your face. And I'll even put it on my neck. Even though I don't put makeup on my neck, I feel it's got some moisture in it. What can I say? All right. Now, ooh, kind of a little slimy. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and put me a squirt of Vera Wang Embrace. Because it just, it just makes me happy. And I'll just kind of... Yeah, I'll give it about two squirts is about all you need of that stuff, okay? Kind of give it a fan here. All right, now I'm going to start off with my, I swear it's clean, but you know how makeup stains it, my beauty blender, and you see it's nice and um, moist. And I'm going to put my, um, and this is by, I do not know, I forget, Maybelline. Uh -huh. It's in the dewy. Smooth and it is in the 120. And you know, like I've told y'all before, I like the dewy er things because I tried the matte and it just did not, um, you know, it just didn't go for me. Reason is it was just a little bit too matte. And you know what I have forgotten? I have forgotten my under eye concealer. Oh my, I can do without it. I can do without it. And you just start dabbing, dab, 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 dab. And on this one, I like to take a little bit more of my time 
on my dabbing because, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do without a concealer. Hang on about one second. Hang on. We're going to grab that bad boy. I'm still dabbing. I'm still dabbing as I'm walking. I'm brave. I'm not that brave. I really need some help. Working third shift. You got some under eye stuff going on. Let's go ahead and put a little of this on. I kind of... Uh, and I will do the, you know, the traditional kind of V-shape. And then I'll also do some on my nose and around my nose. Reason is, um, I've... As a child, I was, or younger, I was told that I had rosacea. Um, and most of it, thankfully, has gone away except just the redness. So the bumps and the, has gone away. But the, um, you know, where the capillaries come to the surface of your skin and uh, make you look like, uh, tell you the truth, make you look like you pretty good drinker. You know, that's the truth. You know, they, they'll, you know, you know, what, uh, TV says, you know, a, 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 you know, a drinker has got that bright red nose, which is not always true. I'm a nurse. I can say that, but that's just kind of what people hear, say, think. Okay, I'm just moving that primer, uh, the um, foundation, and it's still got a little bit of the Kat Von D. Oh, and the color, let's see, no glasses on. Uh, warm. You know, a little primer on, you know, undercover just here and there never hurts. I can tell I'm going to be a little bit redder today. Uh, sometimes, if I'm a little bit redder, it's kind of hard to cover up. But I think, because um, the other day I used a sheet mask, so I might be a little bit more tender, which makes you a little bit more redder. I swear. How can I forget my Mac? Oh my Jesus. Hang on. Wait, wait. No. Yes. How can I forget my Mac? One more minute. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm thinking of you. Here I come. Woohoo. Okay. Man, I gotta hurry. We're at seven minutes. Okay, here is my Mac. Love Mac. And it is in the medium plus. Take my It Cosmetic brush. Man, I love this brush. It is in the number six. Me and my Mac. I've hit pan on it, but you know, Mac, you still use everything. And I will just go to town dabbing. Dabbing, 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 swirling, swirling. Under the neck. And I just keep on going. And I just... What are some of y'all's favorite uh, makeup products that you try? We've talked about that a little bit before. You know what? You can't see very well with... There. Ooh, there. Light. Light turning on the lights. And then sometimes it's like, oh, I like turning off the lights. Okay, there is that. Now we're going. Now, for today's eye, I'm trying to decide to go with the Tarte palette here or here. I've got our purple today. I've got my uniform on. This Tarte palette looks like this. The pink Tarte palette looks like this. Hmm. You know, I think I'll go with this one. Okay, this is the Tarte palette. It does not say High Performance Naturals. Uh. And the uh, the blush is called looks like Overjoyed. And I and I'm telling you, barely, barely. And then give it a because this will definitely see it will definitely give you color a little bit quicker than you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll come back. We're gonna come back to it. Okay, don't freak out. No freaking out. Okay, and just because I can't stand for my um, 
eyebrows to be so just I will use the NYX it is the NYX eyebrow cake powder like this and it comes with a little dabby you know the firm thing and then the eyebrow brush <clears throat> and I'll tell you how I do this and why I'll just kind of do some brushing out to start with then I will go ahead and take my thing that come with it and it you know it comes with that little waxy stuff and I'll just kind of dab it a little bit will do you like Brillo cream I wonder how many of y'all are too young to know what Brillo cream is and I will just kind of work that in especially this one eyebrow it's like really fraggle rock it's like a mad scientist eyebrows they stick out and like I say, a little bit of this goes a long way. And then, and then didn't dip de doo or something come out with a commercial that, you know, just a little bit will do or something like that? But Brillo Cream came out with it first years ago for men's mustaches. Okay. And what they're wanting you to do is then use this and go into your powders and put it on. Well, I, I don't want to do that because then your brush gets all... You know, and then your powders get all... Mm -mm. So I will take a little brush. This is a, just a little wet and wild brush. And I'll just... And I'll just hit both of them. It, it, it don't matter to me. And I will just... Uh, just a dab. And kind of come down there. And a little bit of... See, I'll work on this periodically throughout the video. Oh, Lord, we're 11 minutes. Don't quit watching. Miracles happen. Miracles can happen. And they can happen to you, miracles. Mm, okay. Stephanie does not sing. Ever, 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 ever. Okay. And then you'll see me quite a bit here in just a little bit. When it sets a little bit, just rub it again with my fingers just to try to lay the boogers down. Blah. All right. Let us think. I've got another, um, I got two brushes here. This is the Luxie 239. And then I have got another Wet and Wild. And my Wet and Wild is the more of the blender brush. And my Luxie is more the ones that I pack it on with when I'm doing something like that. So I brought both of them in here just for giggles. All right. Woo. Tell you what. Let's go with this one first. That is, it looks like pearls and twirls. Okay, very different. And I'll just especially hit my brow bone up here. Way up here. And then I'll just kind of give it a little bit to start out so that everything blends good. It, it don't really matter to me what um, I use as a bottom blender. We really don't. I'll just love that on. It feels so good. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what, let's go with the sequin stilettos, this one right there, and I'm going to go in to the crease and just a little bit above it, so like here, back and forth. Now, you'll see, ladies, if you've got a little age on you, some YouTubers will do this, and it just looks so easy, but you see my skin move back and forth. Ooh. My skin move back and forth. Well, that's just age. And you know, every once in a while, I will, let me show you. I will just, and I'm talking barely, ladies, barely. Just do like this, to just hold it still. I'm not pulling, mm, no pull, no pull on eyes, ever, ever. And just do like this. And I think for video's sake, that, that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, let's go a little bit more on both of them. Because that's a light color. And I like to lay down a good, right above. Okay, like I said, I'm just, please, please, please don't ever, ever, ever pull on your eyes. Ugh. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of laying my hand on it, like to steady it, so that when I do this, it doesn't go back and forth. Okay. If I can say, if I can convince you of nothing else, I'll convince you of that. Now let's go with a little bit, a burst of mauve. You see, I'm wearing purple. So we're going to go with a little burst of mauve. That's this one right there. Tap off excess, and again, and I'm just going to put this to the outside corner, and just a little bit in, maybe about halfway. Okay, outside corner. Whoops, about made a mistake on that one. Outside corner, and then on um, now on this part, I'll go to about right there, and then see how like right like maybe about that much 
of the outside corner. Okay, now we're gonna get on the darker side. This is the dressed to the wines. So this is kind of a mauve um, palette, if you would. Now, like with Tarte, there's been many, many, many a times that I've like stuck my brush in there and done this and been like, oh, and then you, you can't get it off without starting over. And I'll just kind of right here in the corner, right in the corner, do it again, right here in the corner. And I'm just kind of back and forth real easy, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Now, I'll use this brush, you know, which, which I told you was a packing brush, and I will take the, maybe the mix and mingle. Mm, yeah, let's see what I think. And I'll take it and pack it right there. Then I'll continue to back and forth. And you see me really lifting my eyebrows up so that I can get my skin a little bit tighter. I know that's bad to say. But some YouTubers, you know, they're in their 20s. They haven't got any kind of hooded eye. They haven't got, you know, anything like this. Um, and that's just a fact. You know, I'm 48. Skin's got a sag. And again, I'm just going now to take the pack or again, and I'm going back in into that darkest color. And I'm just gonna do right like this, just to pack it. And that makes it a lot darker without smearing it out. <laughs> this is difficult to do on a camera. All right, now, dun, 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 I am going to get, and this is by, um, Physician's Formula. It is the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster in black, and it's my eyeliner. Okay, a little screwy uppy top like that. And you'll see me again hold my eye. I'm not pulling, I promise that, and just give it a little bit of it. And give my, now I don't go for the wing look, nah. Work their shift. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I mean, I care, but. Okay, and then after all of that that we've done, in case I have any fallout, first off I'll take this brush, which is my um, powder brush, and I'll just kind of give it a like this. Okay, and then I'll still take a little bit more of my MAC and just kind of double make sure it really wipes more away just in case there is any or covers it up if need be. Okay, there we're going. Like mad we are going. Now, let's see, put the lid on that bad boy. We are going to go with Their Real by Benefit. And that is in the black or really dark. And we're going with the mascara. I'm not going no fake eyelashes on y'all today. Nick, 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 nick. And of course, you know you gotta tilt your head, or at least I do. And I will do a downward motion and an upward motion. I want. I'm to the age of my life that my poor eyelashes, I need everything I can get. You know, as you get older, things get sparser. I wish that was the way with your the size of your honey. Sparser. Not as much there. But no. Okay, I'm still just kind of making sure on coats. There we go. And now for the bottom, I'll just kind of give it one of these. Cause there's not many eyelashes there. I'm just saying, folks. Dip in again. And I like that, um, uh, ooh, it's got eye booger. Ah, eye booger. And it's got that funny little tip on the end of it, which really, in my opinion, separates. Okay. And I'll kind of, uh, separate any on the top that I think I need to. Right there in the corner. Uh. Okay. I look like, it's not putting lipstick on a pig. Some things just don't help. All right, now, again, you'll see me, since my eyebrows have set a little bit, I kind of do like it, make sure there's not any of that uh, wax residue. Okay, and see, we're not, we're not, 
we're good, okay? Now, let us do a lot. Mm -mm -mm. And on this, I will take my my Luxie brush, and it is in a number three, or 514, like that. And I will use, what will I use? Ew. Let's use the Laura Geller, and it is the Baked Highlighter in Golden Rose. Now, in my opinion, you cannot... You cannot go wrong with too much highlighter. Shh, no, don't say that. It's like in certain circles. I'll hit it here. I'll hit it here. And a little bit above. You know, it kind of brings your eye up. So you don't quite look like a, a painted floozy. Let's say that. I'm going to say it. And I'm not going with bronzer and everything today. You know, it's just one of them days. I just want to be simple. Bridge your nose. I mean... Tip a nose, right, and I'll, and I'll take this right like kind of and hold it with my fingers right there. Sometimes there's, it's not worth having a thousand <clears throat> brushes when you're in a hurry getting it done. It's just getting it done. All right, now we're going to go with my Cover FX, and this is Illuminating Setting Spray. Now, I'm going to tell you, I go to town with this stuff, okay? Close your eyes. See, it's kind of dewy. <laughs> Ooh, I always do that. Somehow I always get it in my mouth. I guess it shows that I can't keep my mouth. Oh, you see some on my neck. Ugh. But I like to pack this bad boy on. I like to pack it on. And I'll just kind of let my face set a little bit. Just kind of, you know, and kind of organize my makeup and, you know, start getting it put away. And then I'll kind of start looking like, hmm... Hmm. Do we need, I think I'm going to go with just a hair bit more. Make sure it's dry. Oh, because that's a mess if you don't do it and it's not dry. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more right here. Like I say, working third shift, it's just not easy on the body. Mm -mm. Kind of give it a little bit more, get that red out. Just a little bit more. And with that blush, you know, I told you, and I'll just barely, I won't do like that. I'll just like that and kind of take some of that, you know, hot pink and then put, and I'm kind of just like, you know what I mean? Just kind of, I try to blend the bottom part of it like that, not the top. Just do it like that. I do not know if that is right. I am not a makeup professional. I guess y'all have figured that out probably in minute two or three. And again, I'm going mm, to, I, I just love me some shine. Mm. I don't want people out of space to see me. I mean, mm. all right. Don't y'all just love my bow? I just love my bow. Reminds me of something Minnie Mouse or something. All right, let's do this. Remember, I put that uh, de ow, yeah, put that detangler on, and you can still hear it doing little tangles. That's all right. I just kind of went through it real quick a little bit ago. And like I say, I'm not going to do anything with my hair tonight other than just brush it because I'll probably wind up putting it in a ponytail because, like I say, I am a nurse, and it is um, it is raining again here in North Georgia. I think we're in the 50s or so. And it is supposed to turn cold about Monday or Tuesday. Right now it's um, Friday afternoon or evening. And I will just... Ooh, maybe, maybe not. You know how you can do your hair and then after, you know, a little bit it settles down kind of the way it's supposed to lay, if that makes sense. Hmm. Well, you can hear it's got ugly tangles. Today I did not sleep good. Because the wind here has howled all day. And my house is a two-story house. And at the back of it, it is, you know, flat. And so it's got a hill. And so every bit of the wind, like, magnifies coming up that hill. And so I could hear the wind absolutely all day, which was my night. You know, I really feel that I need a little bit more right there on the... And let's just do that. Just just for giggles. A little moisture never hurts. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. And see that? It goes on so light that, you know, you really don't even have to brush it through. But sometimes I do, just for good measure. And again, you see my pretty streaks. Look at that. Look at that. The red, the blonde. Mm -hmm. My friend Sarah. Hit me up. I'll tell you all about her. And then see, she keeps a little bit of blonde right around my face. And then look at that streaking. Look at that. Because, you know, us older ladies don't need too much streaking going on. Oh, no, that was a funny thing. Okay. I am almost about ready to walk out the door. But let's look in my big, huge honking bag of... Mm, I'm wearing purple. Ooh. I got this in a, a beauty box maybe last month. And this is by, oh man, I don't even know if I can see this, even with or without glasses on. It's, it looks like vulgar, pretty vulgar. And oh man, y'all are gonna have to, and it's called My Lips Are Sealed. Remember me telling you about the pretty antique look I thought that was? All right, I've earlier, I, I have lip conditioning on my lips all the time. Because, like I say, ooh, and I left my liner, lip liner, and they're in the other room. <laughs> you know, wouldn't it be funny? I just didn't thought about it. You know how YouTuber beauty gurus will do? Wouldn't be funny if they done like that and they had a a bat in the cave. Uh-huh. Yeah, honey. All right. Done. I'll just drop this in my pocket, a scrub pocket, that way here, out the night. It's kind of like a nervous habit. I can, uh, uh, you know, do a little bit before I go take care of business sometimes. Gotta have a little bit of lip stuff. And that's it. Um, like I say, 9 out of 10, I'll probably go with my hair right like this. And throughout the night... Uh, I'll get hot, it'll get in the way, and I'll put it up into a ponytail or a little, you know, a little sassy, flippy bun up at the top, okay? Alrighty, thank you for getting ready for with me. It's the first time I've ever put on makeup on a camera. Kind of fun. Um, you know, I don't do things right, no, but sometimes I think it's nice maybe if some uh, people on YouTube were the older ladies, you know, with a little bit of the crepier skin, the little bit of this, the little bit of that, and, uh, you know, everybody don't have perfect skin. You know, I've got a lot of redness. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me some of what your favorite um, beauty products are. You know, what you like, what you thought that, okay, you can even say what you thought I'd done wrong. I don't mind. It's okay. I might change. I might not. You might teach me something. Alrighty. I've got a mess here on my, oh my Lord. Alrighty. Y'all have a good weekend. It's Friday. I'll be posting this here automatically pretty soon. Let me know what you think. Put on some earrings. Got my watch, put my jacket on, a little kind of scrub jacket, and Stephanie J, we'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.